Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug and I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2 and this is part 2 of the Magnum, no, get it right, the Renault Premium Excellence. And I have shifted my gearing and hopefully the volume's okay. I've turned my microphone sensitivity or my microphone level down. My microphone sensitivity has always been set to 1. Right? It's as low as I can possibly set it. But my... Um, I've turned my microphone down uh, on the computer from 80% uh, to 65%, and I turned the game volume down, and I actually forgot to check, and I apologize, but it should be better. I, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed everything comes out better. Um, but I have shifted my gearing. We are hauling 36 tons, and we have, um, well, quite a ways to go, it looks like. I don't know why it says we have that far to go. 982 kilometers. Oh well. So let's get started, shall we? Now I'm going to start shifting the wrong gears again. Because now I, it's like I've done enough to just get used to. Um, I've done enough to just get used to. Um, shifting the other way. So now I'm going to start fucking up. And of course, you know, we have to take a look here while we're on the dirt road. Because I always think it's cool. So, not a whole lot more to talk about right now. I did my Binding of Isaac Samson video, a random Samson, and it went horribly as I expected it to. Um, I'm just terrible with Samson. I'm terrible at the game, period, unless I'm playing Isaac, because I'm so used to playing him. Well, not terrible. I actually do okay most times, but Samson and Eve I really struggle with. And I'm really not the only one. They're like the two worst uh, characters in the game. And hopefully they'll be rebalanced um, when um, uh, Rebirth comes out. Uh, no, I'll let these two go unless they let me go. I think we're clear. Again, my biggest enemy right now is going to be letting myself get uh, lulled into a, a peaceful, kind of oblivious sense because we don't want to end up rolling our truck accidentally by going too fast on a corner for the chassis that we have, which again, the Magnum can only um, get a 4x2 chassis. I don't know if I'm going to stick with bandy cam to record. Uh, I think it may really depend on this video here. Whether I stick with bandy cam or go back to fraps. Because I'm not overly happy with the sound on bandy cam. I picked up bandy cam because it allows me to record Binding of Isaac. Because Binding of Isaac you can't use fraps to record. Uh, and my Camtasia just won't work right when it comes to recording it. Every time I hit the button to record with Camtasia, yep, see, there we go. I knew I'd screw it up eventually. Every time I hit the button to record with Camtasia, um, it just screws up the Binding of Isaac full screen. And Camtasia doesn't like, I don't know if it still doesn't, Camtasia 7, um, Camtasia 7 didn't like um, recording over an hour. And you record over an hour. I don't know if Camtasia 8 still holds that problem or not. But you record over an hour and it, it gets like really pissy, you know. So I, I don't know if that's still an issue or not. 
But what I will say is um, Bandicam doesn't have that issue, but I don't know. Bandy, Bandicam's sound recording it is much different. It doesn't seem to record um, quite as well in the sound. Uh, see, there I go. I don't know why. I put the gears that I was doing instinctually, and now I'm, I'm like doing it wrong. Oh, please don't tell me this is one of those glitches where it's like constantly spawning. Oh, it is. Just look at that. Just look at that. Th this is a glitch in the game where it just constantly spawns cars. Uh, and it just keeps them going and going and going. And you get stuck forever in a certain spot. I may have to cheese this and I really don't want to. Yeah, you can see them popping in, like, right there. You saw that truck pop in and keep going. This is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. Yeah, it's not going to stop. All right. I don't want to cheese this, but I don't see a choice. What we have to do is just basically look for an opportunity to get out without getting hit. Otherwise, we'll, we'll never get out of there. Well, I was hoping to avoid that. But you can only do so much. And of course, I'm messing up the gearing as usual. All right, here we go. I can't turn too much. It's too hard there. That's better. The pole causes that. One more. Yeah, I was getting a little bit over into the other lane there. Forgot to adjust for that. And we're good. Easy on the corner here, Geronimo. Easy on the corner. And then we got a turn here, which could be really, really bad, so we're going to swing it wide. pretty good. A little bit of a downhill to help us gain some momentum, but we don't want to gain too much. Alright, not bad. So far, so good. So far, so good. Some beautiful mountain countryside uh, driving here. Alright, again, being cautious on the corners. 
the very familiar um, cow pen at this point, pasture. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable going much faster than I am right now. This really kind of feels like it's at the edge of um, being stable while coming around the corner. I think if I was to kick it up to 70, I might just hoolie on over. I switch them over because I'm instinctually reversing the buttons. So now that I have them switched over, I'm instinctually reversing the buttons. It's like my own brain is at war with me right now. Hello, Tollbooth. How are you? Sometimes I really want to install the uh, no, uh, uh, no Tollbooth Barrier mod. And just blow right through these. You can. I played around with it once, but I felt guilty. Yeah, it removes the arm, the barrier right there, the uh, arm. Uh, let's downshift first before we pay our toll, shall we? And you can just cruise right on through if you want. You don't have to stop. It's a good mod to use. I think that's the first time I've almost seen an accident between other vehicles. It's a good mod to use if you want to use those um, heavy trailers. The uh, extra, extra, extra long trailers that are in the game. That cause more problems than the trailers that I'm hauling right now. Now, keeping in mind, if you were in a vanilla game, the heaviest you'd be hauling is 25 tons. So, I would think that this can handle the 25 tons really well. But most people are like me, which is one of the reasons I've actually decided to do this. You like to mod in trailers. You like to mod in bigger trailers with bigger things to haul. And that's why those trailers exist. You like to mod those in and, and we all like to haul the big heavy things and deal with those. And just careful, careful. We could hooli on that one. We don't want to. Yeah, you can see how the cars are all messed up uh, on that trailer. I gotta be real careful here because I could clip him easily. And I really need to be in the other lane. If I get the chance. Now, keeping in mind, I am going to put the Iveco and the DAF under similar loads when I revisit them with the standard transmission, with the upgraded chassis, and with a heavier load. Alright, let's get over into the proper lane, shall we? Wow. 
Wow. Point shifting because we're hitting another climb. I'd hate to think if I did this on automatic. And that wasn't even a steep climb. I mean, it was steep, um, you know, for an average road. But compared to some of the climbs I can do in this, like my Scania did, um, this was not a steep climb. that steep of a climb at all. I'm hoping to build up at least a little momentum, but I don't think it's going to matter. I don't know what to say, really. I mean, granted, the load I'm pitting a 440 engine against. But keep in mind that the most powerful engine available is a 460. And we're going to test that next. And that extra 20 horsepower, that extra newton meters that you're going to get out of that engine, not all that much. Please don't go. So we made the climb, but wow. You know, I don't know what else to say. Now we got to be careful on the, on the reverse side going down. Because, um, as I've mentioned quite a few times already, very, very easy to gain too much speed. Hit a gentle corner that we'd normally take at higher speeds. Say, like when I'm driving my Scania or one of the other trucks. And just flip right on over kind of like this corner up here. We're not that far out from our delivery destination, but at the speeds I'm going to have to be going, it's going to be further than uh, my other videos. as well downshift already but we'll wait a little bit
Come on. Come on. more climbing of course. It's not like we haven't been over this road before but still. Oh yeah, the, the car that been crushed by the rock. That's a lovely picture to paint, isn't it? This is a long climb too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Five? No, four? Four? Kind of looking like four. Yep, looking like four. Probably gear shifting wrong as well. But I do what feels comfortable. Eighty-five more kilometers to go. Man, I, I gotta be straight. I really gotta be straight. I have never wanted a run to be over as much as I'm starting to want this run to be over. This is... You would think it's not tough being a simulation, you know, being a video game. But, in, in a way, it is. No, 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 no. We're not gonna flip. We're not gonna flip. Oh yeah, right, and this suffers from the slowdown glitch. Which is fine by me. And there's the speed up. Now I believe this will be our downhill side, if I remember correctly. I'm going to move out because things are... Whoa! Sharp corner. Yeah, let's be gentle on this one, shall we? That is a dangerous corner for any truck, let alone hauling 36 tons on a 4x2. went by like a bullet, didn't he? Damn it, I knew I forgot to adjust something else. I'm going to adjust it at the end of this. I'm going to adjust my rain so that I encounter rain a little more frequently. So I haven't encountered any rain. I'm almost wondering if I accidentally put the rain slider off somehow.
There's a speed camera, like we actually have to worry. Easy, because this is a sharp corner. And it's a sharp downhill corner, which uh, is even worse. So close and yet so far. It's like a glitch in the matrix with the water out there. Wow, we actually got some speed. That's amazing. slow down a little too much there but well maybe not that corner felt dangerous even at that speed Watch out for any speed bumps, which is possible. And we're just going to take it nice and slow. We're almost at the end, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to discover a um, recruitment agency, which is cool. Looks like there's a garage for sale here. I'm going to go buy that off camera. Alright, and here's our destination. We'll wide swing it. Please don't have all the boxes over there. Good, you don't. We appreciate that. This is going to prove interesting. Alright, here we go. I thought I put it in reverse. I don't know why I thought that, considering I couldn't hear it backing up. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get the trailer a little more straight because there's no way I'm going to get it on this angle. Did I really... Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually pushing the other trailer, I think. Stop! Thank you. That's not what I was aiming to do. Get it 
right, get it right, get it right. Clear the trailer. Clear the trailer, please clear the trailer. Wow, we actually got it on the first try. Not very great, but we got it. And we did excellent. Very nice. All right. And we're going to make level 21. Cool. And we'll max out our fueling capacity. All right. Uh, that was weird. All right, break, put it in neutral, good. All right, so that's it for the Renault Premium Excellence. What's my take on it? Well, let me put that like this. If you're going with the vanilla game, it's fine. It'll, it'll perform really well. If you're going to mod in steep climbs but not heavy trailers, it should do okay. If you're going to mod in heavy trailers but not a steep climb, it should do okay. If you're going to mod in like I have with steep climbs and heavy trailers, it's going to suffer. And it's going to suffer hard. The lack of being able to upgrade the chassis. Now, I can upgrade the chassis if I want to. I actually have one modded into the game uh, if it still works. But... Um... I lost my train of thought. But in a vanilla game, you can't. If you're not going to mod in a chassis, it's going to suffer. If you're not going to mod in an engine, it's going to suffer. You're going with the vanilla game. Speaking in terms of vanilla, um, like I said, it's fine. But speaking in terms of my opinion of it and what I just went through on it, I'm going to have to rate it lower than the DAF. And depending on how the Aveco performs, it might even rate lower than that. And the reason it would rate lower than the Aveco is because of the lack of a chassis to help its stability. I mean, quite honestly, if you don't mod the engine up, and it's not that great a mod, it, it doesn't perform well under heavy trailers and steep climbs. You know, the DAF and the Iveco seem to be performing better. But, again, it's going to take me going back to the DAF and the Iveco and putting them under similar conditions to make sure of what we run into. So, disappointing, really, because it starts out as a really good starter truck, but when you start getting to the high end, it really seems to suffer. So, that's going to be me done for this one, folks. Uh, when we come back, we'll do the Renault uh, Magnum Excellence, a uh, slightly more powerful engine and a much different um, cab, but that may be about it. But we will see. Maybe it'll surprise us, maybe it won't. So that's going to be me done for this one. If you could leave a comment, rate, and subscribe down bottom, I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks, this is One Big Bugger signing out, and I'll see you then.